Hello, scholars. I'm going to read the story May Day Around the World, and I want you to read along with me. So pause this video now and please turn to page 137 in your My Book. Before we get into reading it, this is a narrative nonfiction story. This gives facts about a topic, but it reads like a story. So it's not going to be a boring old informational text, but we are going to learn from it. As you read this story, I want to pay close attention to what the main topic of the story is. Notice the details. We're going to be pausing and jotting down some notes, so make sure you have a pencil and paper nearby. Notice all the different settings. This story takes place all around the world. And also pay close attention to the dialogue and what different characters in the story are saying. Before we get into it, there are a couple of vocabulary words I want to make sure that we are all clear on. First one I think you all know is the word trunk. A trunk is the main part of a tree from where the branches grow. They give us a sample sentence here. The very old tree had a huge trunk that many of us could hide behind. And then that next word is clutched. Say it with me, clutched. If you clutched something, that means you held it tightly. Amaya clutched her mother's hand. And just like always, you know how I give you bonus points in class all day today. I want you to see if you could use that word clutched while you're talking to your family. Let's move on and get right into our story. Please turn to page 138. The story is called May Day Around the World. This is by Terry Telfer, and it is illustrated by Lynn Averill. We start our story in Sweden, a place called Uppsala, Sweden. Read along with me. Gustav has never been up this late. He watches his father throw another piece of old furniture on the bonfire. Tonight, they are celebrating Walpurgis Eve, the last day before spring. Gustav's neighbors sing soft songs. Oh, let me say that again. Gustav's neighbors sing soft songs around the fire. His mother brings him a green blanket and a bowl of nettle soup. Spring is coming in the morning, she whispers. Gustav curls up on the blanket and feels the lovely warmth of the fire. So remember, we know that this book is telling us all about May Day happening around the world. Let's find out more about what May Day is, what we're celebrating. Gustav curls up on the blanket and feels the lovely warmth of the fire. Now we go from Uppsala, Sweden to Austin, Texas. Maria and Carlos put a May Day basket on Miss Garcia's doorstep. The basket is filled with purple violets and a chocolate bar. Maria rings the doorbell and they run behind a big oak tree. Creak, the door is opening. Maria peeks out from behind the trunk. Happy May Day, Miss Garcia. So that's how they're celebrating May Day in Austin, Texas, right here in the United States of America. Now let's move over to Paris, France. Adele races through the park with a coin clutched in her hand. We're using that word clutched. Let me read it again. Adele races through the park with a coin clutched in her hand. May Day is her favorite time of year. Everyone is wearing bright colors and the birds are just starting to sing. One lily of the valley, s'il vous plaît, she says to the man selling flowers. That phrase, s'il vous plaît, that's French, that means, if you please. One lily of the valley, s'il vous plaît, she says to the man selling flowers. Adele runs back to her grandfather and puts the flower boop, in his buttonhole. Joyeux premier mai, papi, she says. Let me say that again so you can just enjoy my French accent. Joyeux premier mai, papi, she says which means happy May Day, Grandpa. So now I'm gonna ask you to please pause the video, go back to the start of the story and read. We learned about three different places and how they celebrate May Day. Before we even get into that, why? Why do, they, why do you think people are celebrating the beginning of spring? Each of these May Day celebrations is the beginning of spring. 
what's the big deal? I want you to stop and write down a couple of ideas just for yourself. You don't need to send them to me, but think about why would we want to celebrate spring? It's the time of year that we're in right now. I'll pause the video now, take some time, reread, jot some notes to yourself, and then we'll go on. All right, and we're back. Let's read page 141. We are now moving to Wailea, Hawaii, back in the United States of America. Ala helps her Aunt Malia get ready for the Lay Day Parade. Her aunt has been crowned Lay Queen. How do I look, asks her aunt. You forgot something, says Ala. She slips a long, delicate lay of alima blossoms over her aunt's head. The lay smells sweet and fresh, just like springtime. You could see that around her neck, that long lay, that's a necklace of flowers. The lay smells sweet and fresh, just like springtime. Now you forgot something, says her Aunt Malia. Giving a lay means you get a kiss. So let's stop right there, because now we're reading more springtime celebrations, more May Day celebrations. I want you to pause the video, reread what we've read so far, maybe even reread from the beginning because what we're thinking about is what is the central idea of this story what is this book what are these four five six pages what is it trying to tell us what is it trying to teach us think about what the central idea is and maybe circle in your book remember these are your books to keep what evidence can you identify that supports that idea so what are some details that point to the bigger picture, the main idea that this author wants us to learn from the book. Pause now, take some time and do that, and then we'll finish. All right, and we are back and we are moving to Pease Marsh, England for a real classic May Day celebration. Let's read page 142. Annabelle and Edward are dancing around the maypole. They've been practicing for weeks, if they get the steps just right, the ribbons will wind around the pole in a beautiful crisscross pattern. Annabelle wears her new white dress and yellow ribbon in her hair, the color of the first spring daisies. Edward is dressed as the green man, full of mischief. Can you see Edward there in the middle? He's dressed as the green man who is full of mischief, full of naughtiness. Oh no, Edward's dog Sammy is running towards the maypole. He wants to dance too. Watch out, Edward. So that's how they celebrate May, the May Day in England, the beginning of spring. All right, scholars, I hope you did a beautiful job and enjoyed reading that. You can read along again, play the video again, or maybe read it again, because now what I want you to do is show me what you know. It's your time to shine. Go back to the book, and I want you to choose two May Day celebrations to compare. So choose two of the different places that we read about and write how are they alike and how are they different? What are some of the things that are the same? And what are some of the things that are special and different about those two different places? Write five complete sentences and be sure to use details from the text. And then as always, take pictures of your awesome work and send it to me and have a beautiful evening. Thank you.